हेलो हाय गाइस माय नेम इज हरवंश एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय द यूट्यूब चैनल फॉर माइक्रोसॉफ्ट डिफेंडर फॉर एंड पॉइंट ट्यूटोरियल सो टुडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू कवर अप द डिस्क डिस्क इंक्रिप्शन दैट्स कॉल्ड द बिट लॉकर पॉलिसी एज वेल सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड विद दिस वीडियो सो एजेंडा ऑफ दिस वीडियो इज वॉट इज डिस्क डिस्क इंक्रिप्शन दैट इज अ बिट लॉकर एंड we'll try to understand about a difference between the endpoint security disk encryption and the device configuration policy because uh, both work in a similar way but still there is a little difference then we'll create a endpoint security disk encryption policy and finally we'll deploy that policy to on the test device and we'll test the policy how that disk disk encryption going to work so let's see what is the disk encryption will do that is a bit locker so hope so you guys had heard this word bit locker so bit locker provide the additional data protection layer by using the encryption and decryption technology so usually what uh, bit locker does it will uh, encrypt your device data uh, whichever device you want like cde or you can um, encrypt your data so and it will be an additional layer of your data protection when you uh, uh, put the data in the encryption and you want to put the uh, one more authentication so you, you during the login you have to put your the uh, bit locker password so it's a data protection feature that integrate with the operating system and address the threat of data theft or the expose the lost uh, stolen or the inappropriately decommissioned computer so even though bitlocker provide the most protection when it integrate with the tpm tpm version 1.2 or the later so tpm is a hardware component installed in a many newer computer by the computer manufacturer so uh tpm is a hardware feature if it is enabled in your the laptop model in the new newly models that will help you to to add the additional security layer with your the pit locker so let's understand what is the endpoint security disk encryption policy for the pit locker so it's created by if you see in its under the endpoint security disk encryption and create policy so from here you can create it and the another policy which we are talking about about the your device configuration uh, profile for the endpoint protection for bit locker so that will create from here so for this part already i create a video that was covered up in your intune tutorial or the MEM uh, uh, -E tutorial, so you can go and watch that how to configure the bit locker and test it. So I can give you the link where it is, so you can go to the my website that is endusersupports.com, and here is a all videos links are available. So here you can search for the bit locker. So let me go here and show you how you can find out. So just type the bit locker. So here is the 26 videos. It will explain you how you can create a configuration profile. So this is the video you can watch that if you want to learn how you can configure the BitLocker configuration profile. So, but in this video, we are going to learn how we can use the disk encryption feature inside the endpoint security. So let's go to the disk encryption. And from here, we will be creating the policy so now create a policy and here select the windows 10 and letter now here is a bit locker so this is the definition something about the bit locker so now create the policy and can mention bit locker policy based on your convenience name you can put it here now go to the next and here we have the multiple options let's understand what it will do so it divided into a four parts and inside we have the multiple features so enable the full description of the os and the fix the data devices so you can say yes require the storage card encryption but that is include only for the mobile devices not for the laptop or desktop 
hide the prompt to the third third party encryption so i'm not going to configure this uh, computer client drive in user data recovery how it is going to be recover that is enable rotation on the azure ad joint device so we can collect the uh, in uh, uh, the device and recovery key from the azure ad uh, azure ad machines this is done now the fixed drive the bit locker the fixed drive policy so if you click on the configure it will show you the fixed drive configure yes then again we have the multiple options like a file recovery creation if you want then you can say yes allow configure the bit locker recovery package that is like a password only require device to the backup recovery information to azure active directory yes the recovery password key creation can allowed hide the recovery option during the bit locker setup yes enable the bit locker after key uh, into the store you can click yes block to use the certificate the recovery as in dra so no block a right access to fix the data drive not protected by the bit locker so can say yes so based on your the company requirement you can uh, you can check the options and schedule it here so we are good with this and uh, let us go with the another option is the os drive setting so bit locker system drive policy if you click yes then we have two more options a startup authentication required yes so if you want like a startup authentication you want to add it so you should have the compatibility tpm startup not configure i'm not going to set up for the tpm why because uh, i don't have the tpm in my the lab the compatibility tpm so these all are uh, the disabled bit locker on the when the tpm is the incompatible not configured and uh, and here no i have to go with the yes only okay the preboot recovery message url not required so system uh, recovery uh, system recovery the minimum pin length should be the four digit uh, no let me make it the at least six digit and uh, then the configure recovery method for the operating drive but i can say aes if you want to learn it more about this so you can go to this link i will paste it in the my the chat window you can use this link and you can get the more detail about the bit locker so now we are good with this part and uh, let us go over here the bit locker uh, removal drive policy so it is for the removal drive policy uh, if you have any of the removal drive you can configure here so um, i don't want to configure for the removal drive as i cannot connect any of the drive in my the hyper v lab so we are good with this now let's go to the next scope if you want to assign any of the scope so you can go here and you can select the scope but i'm not using the scope logic over here now let's go to the assignment uh, include the device and here uh, i have created a group that include included my the test device that is called a bit locker so you you should have the your group where you want to deploy the policy now go to the next and these are like a configuration setting what we selected and it will create a policy and it will send it to the test drive now just create it the method setting is the must okay so we have encryption method setting for all drive must have a encryption type or all the device must not configured okay so let us check the setting what was the okay so we have this issue because of this and uh, now let me just put it the not configure and go to the next and uh, next and let's try it okay so now it's saving the policy it was not taking that value so now we are good with our the policy and uh, let's move it to the test machine 
so here I have my the test machine let me open it again from here let me make it something big and let me go from here in the setting accounts I know this device so now let us start the sync so once the policy is reached uh, then we can able to configure our the pet locker okay here you seen as we got the pop-up as the policy reached the encryption needed so let me go here and uh, Okay, so let me click yes I don't have the any other description installed on this so let me go to the yes and now the disk uh, disk encryption will start so I have uh, okay so the enter the password let me go with the password okay next Okay, so here is the uh, here is the login like save to the Azure AD account. Okay, so it went saved because already it got authenticated. If you want to uh, save like a print as a recovery key, you can do it. So let me just print this so I can save this. okay let me save it to the desktop and i can mention like this is a bit bit locker and if we want to save a file so we can save this file so we have the multiple options save the recovery key in your agility save the flash so you can do that okay so saving the key fine so now it got saved let me go to the next and uh, now we can start this recovery now the encryption got it next and continue so now our the device encryption will start and it will encrypt our the device so once the encryption is done then then we can uh, see uh, the icon over here under the computer actually it will take a lot of time so let us wait for some time so now you can see in here like a one lock icon has created let me click again so 83 percent is done and now you can see it's a, a lock icon has created here so we can wait for some time once it's done completely then we can see how it's going to react so guys uh, it will take a lot of time at least uh, 30 to 40 minutes uh, to complete uh, this task so still it is a 86 percent only so after this uh, nothing to do just we can go here and uh, we can see the options related to the pit locker so still it's not there it's just few uh, the change the bit locker password and the manage the bit locker so once it's done we can see in all the options are here on this drive so if you have the c and d drive you can see in that option as well and now let's see the how this uh, device key will can can uh, can collect here so now go to the c or the device all devices and now where we have we have this device here so key should be there here so we have here the recovery key we can click here and now let's see if it is created then we can see in this recovery key okay so now the recovery keys here actually this is the second time what I created 
so uh, this was the first and this is the second so let us go for the show recovery key and uh, this recovery key we can use to recover the our tribe so i ran the uh, same policy uh, two times that's why it's a two recovery key are here okay so we can collect recovery key from here and uh, let's check the reports in the monitoring and uh, we'll get a report on how many device is the uh, the device encryption is activated so here after some time it will change it to not encrypted to encrypted so still the process is going on in my machine so if we go here and see it's 87 percent only so once it done we can see here it will be a encrypted okay so guys thank you for watching this video i don't want to keep you on the wait over here because it will take another 30 to 40 minutes just to complete only the 13 percent or might be uh, um, around the one hour so guys thank you for watching this video see you soon in my next video